Hello everyone, my name is Dean Elspeth and welcome to Strixhaven. Join one of five colleges to begin and begin your magical education. Learn lessons, sling spells and become a more powerful mage than you ever thought possible. Hey everyone, my name is Elspeth and we're all welcome. You're here at the Planeswalker Pantheon. Today we are opening up a box of Strixhaven, a bit draft booster box of Strixhaven, School of Mages, the latest set to come from Magic the Gathering. Let's just jump right into this, shall we? So 36 wonderful, wonderful packs here. Let's get cracking into them and let's see what magical spells are in here for us. Alright, let's start with this first pack right here. Japanese style. So we'll go through our commons nice and quickly and we will read our uncommons, rares and the uh, mystical archive slots. First uncommon is expressive iteration. So for two and a red, you get a sorcery. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand. Put one of them on the bottom of your library and exile one of them. You may play the exiled card this turn. Second uncommon is Mage Hunter. So for a three and a black, you get a creature, horror, it's a three, four. Whenever an opponent casts or copies an instant of sorcery spell, they lose one life. And our third uncommon is Symmetry Sage. So for one and a blue, you get a creature, human, wizard with flying, it's an O2. It has Mage Craft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant of sorcery spell, target creature you control has base power two until end of turn. So it's a nice little aggressive blue flyer. And our rare. Oh, it's actually a mythic. It's Tan Tanzanar Quandrix. So for three, a blue and a green, you're a legendary creature, Elder Dragon. It's a four, fourth flying and trample. When it enters the battlefield, double the number of plus one, plus one counters on target creature you control. Whenever Tanzanar Quandrix attacks, you may have the base power and toughness of other creatures you control become equal to Tanzanar Quandrix's power and toughness until end of turn. And our mythical archive is negate. So for one and a blue, you get an instant counter target non-creature spell. I love these art. I love these artworks. These are really cool. And oh, we've got a foil silver cool campus there. So it's our dual basic dual answer the set and a card that means absolutely nothing. So that's a good way to start off. <clears throat> So you just start off with a casual Elder Dragon Mythic, so that's never bad. I've really gotten to enjoy this set. Like I just had my first draft of it earlier this week. I was in Quandry, sorry, I was in uh, Prismari. There was a little blue red spells action. And our first uncommon is Rip Apart. So for red and a white, you get a sorcery. Choose one. Rip Apart deals three damage to target creature or planeswalker, or destroy ar target artifact or enchantment. Second uncommon is Stonebinders Familiar. So for one white, you get a creature spirit dog. It's a 1-1. One, one. Whenever one or more cards are put into exile during your turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on Stonebinders Familiar. This ability triggers only once each turn. Our third uncommon is Kelpie Guide. So for two and a blue, you get a creature beast. It's a 2-2. Two, two. Tap it to, tap it to untap, another untap another target permanent you control. Or tap to tap target permanent. Activate this un only if you control animal lands, which you can very much do. I found this format to actually be pretty slow, especially in draft, so the eight lands thing is entirely achievable. And our rare is Ingenious Mastery. So for X, two, and a blue, you get a sorcery. You may pay two and a blue rather than play the spell's mana cost. If the two and a blue cost was paid, you draw three cards, then an opponent creates two treasure tokens and they scry two. If it wasn't paid, you draw X cards. So this is part of a cycle, I think, of Masteries, um, where there's a pretty high cost, then there's an alternative lower cost, but if you pay the lower cost, your opponent gets some sort of value out of it as well. And our, um, sorry, our Mystical Archive card is good old Doomblade. So for one and a black, you get an instant destroy target non-black creature. And we've got a Fractal Token, which we'll put all the way out there. 
Actually, put them right here. Here we go again. <laughs> Spiteful Squad. LSV's got the perfect nickname for them, which is the Mean Girls. Which, to be fair, it works. First uncommon is Zephyr Boots. So for one man, you get an artifact equipment. Equipped creature has flying. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card, then discard a card, and you can equip it for two. Second uncommon is Access Tumble, so it's a land to you can tap to add colours, or pay three and tap to have target creatures with power three or less can't, um, not be able to be blocked this turn. And our third uncommon is Closing Statement, so for three, a black and a white, you get an instant. This spell costs two less to cast during your end step. Uh, destroy a target creature or planeswalker you don't control. Um, put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature you control. And our rare is Sedgemore Witch. So for two and a black, you get a creature human warlock with menace. It has the ability of ward, pay three life, and it also has magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, create a 1-1 black and green pest creature token with, when this creature dies, you gain one life. This is kind of a slam dunk. Honestly, this card is really strong. I can't believe I saw this getting past random draft. Like, I, 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 maybe there wasn't that many black players, but even then, kind of just take it because there's not a lot of things that would be more better than this. Anyways, and our mystical archive card is Cultivate. So for two and a green, get a sorcery, search your library for up to two basic lands, uh, reveal, reveal those cards, put them onto the battlefield, and put one in the battlefield and the other in your hand, and then shuffle. And uh, we've got a foil. Ooh, we've got a foil strategic planning mystical archive. So for one and a blue, you get a sorcery. Look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, and the rest into your graveyard. That's an, man, the mystical, mystical Archive cards look real nice and full. Like, this art just suits falling really well. And we've got a Pest Token. This is probably my favourite ones, honestly, out of the lot. Alright, let's see. What do we got next? We've got this one right here. Come on. All right, next pack. And our first uncommon is solve the equation. So for two and a blue, you get a sorcery. Search your library for an instant or sorcery card, reveal it and put it into your hand, and then shuffle. Second and common is Maelstrom Muse. So for one, a single blue, a is it hybrid and a red you get a creature decision wizard. It's a two fourth flying. Whenever Maelstrom Muse attacks, the next instant or sorcery spell you cast this turn costs X to, less to cast, where X is the Maelstrom Muse's power as this ability resolves. And oops. And our third uncommon is Spell Satchel. So for two and a blue, you get an artifact. It has Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, put a book counter on the satchel. Tap it to remove a book counter um, to add a colorless, or three and tap to remove three book counters and draw a card. And our rare is uh, Shine, sh sh uh, Shine, sh Shine, 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 Shine Shadow Snarl. Wow. Uh, it's a land. It's the dual land to the set. Um, it completes the um, cycle that we started back in uh, Shadows of the Innistrad block. As Shine sh Shadow Snarl enters the battlefield, you may reveal a plains or swamp card from your hand. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped and the taps add black or wh white or black. That's a real tongue twister. And our mystical archive card is Defiant Strike. So for a single white, you get an instant. Tug creature gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn, and you draw a card. Oh, and we've got a foil crushing disappointment right there. Oh, and we got a Rowan Scholar of Sparks emblem. Alright, let's go with this one. Oh, that was. Oh, that. Shine Shadow. You've got to actually, like, enunciate it for it to actually come out correctly. Uh, anyways, let's get back to opening these, shall we? Yeah. Let's not uh, fumble over any more pronunciations. Uh, 
Uh, oh, that's a, still a common. All right, our first uncommon is Arden Dust Speaker. So for four and a red, you get a creature Minotaur Shaman. It's a 3-4. When it attacks, you may put an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library. If you do exile the top tier cards of your library, you may play those cards this turn. Second uncommon is Tend the Pest. So for uh, black and a green, you get an instant as additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a creature. Create X, 1-1 one, one black and green pest creature tokens with when this creature dies, you gain one life, where X is the sacrifice creature's power. And our third uncommon is Devouring Tendrils. So for one and a green, target creature, you get a sorcery. A uh, target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker you don't control. When the permanent you don't control dies this, tur this turn, you gain two life. And our rare is Wither Bloom Command. So for a black and a green, you get a sorcery, you choose two. Target player mills three cards, then you return a land card from your graveyard to your hand. Destroy target non creature, non land permanent, converted mana cost. Sorry, with mana value to they change that wording. Uh, target creature gets minus three, minus one until end of turn, and target opponent loses two life, and you gain two life. And our mystical archive is revitalized, so for one and a white, you get an instant, gain three life, draw a card. And we got a spirit token. Alright, there we go, that's actually a pretty good pack, isn't it? Alright. Oops, wrong way. So we got our commons here. Silicon Campus, Environmental Science, and our first uncommon is Explosive Iteration. So for one in the blue, we've actually already done this one. I just realised as I was reading it. I'll try not to double up. Got Honor Troll, which is probably one of the one of the one of the real good pun names of the set. There's a few other ones, but we'll probably see them later. So for two and a green, you get a creature. It's a troll druid. It's a two three with vigilance. If you would gain life, you gain that much life plus one instead. It gets plus two plus one as long as you have twenty five life or more. A whole monitor is the other good one that I've seen in the set. We've got Witherbloom Apprentice. So for black and a green, you get a creature human druid. It's a two two with magecraft. Whenever you cast a copy an instant of sorcery spell, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. And our rare is a Freight Flame Payment. Now, I've had some real fun with this between pre-release and uh, my first draft. So, a Freight Flame Painter. Three and a red for a creature, a Freight Shaman. It's a 1-4 with double strike. Whenever a uh, Flame Painter deals combat damage to a player, you may cast target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that spell would be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. In pre-release, I think I had a, a combat sequence where I dealt the equivalent of about 16 points worth of damage. Basically pump this with a pump spell, which also gave a trample, hit in, had a pigment storm that was in my graveyard, got to copy it, dealt more damage to my opponent, and then I got to copy another spell again because of double strike. And a mystical archive card is another negate. Got our checklist token card here. Alright, next up. <clears throat> Cobra Professor Professor's great. Objector's got great artwork too. Our first uncommon is Lawhold Excavation. So for red and a white you get an enchantment at the beginning of your at the beginning of your end step, mill a card. If that if a land card was milled this way, you gain one life. Otherwise, it deals one damage to each opponent. And it for five, you get to exile a creature card from your graveyard to create a tapped three, two red and white spirit creature token. Second uncommon is Team Pennant. So for one mana, you get an artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and has vigilance and trample. If you equip it to a creature token, it only costs one. If you equip it to another creature, it equips for three. And our third uncommon is Dagmoth Woe Eater. So for one, a black a hybrid gold gallery and a green. You get a 7-6 creature demon. At the beginning of your upkeep, you sacrifice a creature. When you sacrifice Dagmoth Woe Eater, each opponent discards a card, you draw a card, and you gain two life. 
and our ray, you probably already saw it. It's Sha Shael, Dane of Radiance. So for one and a white, you get a legendary creature, Bird Cleric. It's a one with flying and vigilance. And you can tap to put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature that entered the battlefield under your control this turn. And on the back side, it's Embrose, Dane of Shadow. So for two and two black, you get a legendary creature, Human Warlock. It's a four, four. Tap it to put a plus one, plus one counter on another target creature. Then Embrose, Dane of Shadow, deals two damage to that creature. Whenever a creature you control, the plus one, plus one counter on it dies, draw a card. Cool. And our Mystical Archive card is Gift of Estates. So for one and a white, you get a sorcery. If an opponent controls more lands than you, search your library for up to three planes cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand, and then shuffle. And we got another blank card that means absolutely nothing to me. Honestly, let's just make all the ad cards just tokens. At least they'll have some sort of use in the game. I think they did that once in one of the core sets. And I just found that so much better. Anyway. So we got some common seed. Enthusiastic Study was the one that I comboed with a freak flame painter to give it trample. Ah, good times. And you don't have to do it once. You know, even if you only hit it, hit it, um, hit your opponent for one, uh, once, you know, it's great value. Our first uncommon is Shadewing Laureate. So for one, a white, a or of hybrid and a black, you get a creature, human warlock with flying. Whenever another creature you control with flying dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Second uncommon is Show of Confidence. So for one and a white, you get an instant. When you cast a spell, copy it for each other instant or sorcery spell you've cast this turn. So storm but let's not keyword it you may choose new targets for the copies put a plus one plus one counter on target creature it gains vigilance until end of turn our third uncommon is start from scratch which is actually our lesson for the pack for two and a red you get a sorcery lesson it deals one damage to any target you destroy it can deal one damage to any target or destroy a target artifact and our rare is Silver Quill Silencer. So for a white and a black hit a creature, human cleric, it's a 3-2. When it enters the battlefield, you choose a non-land card name. Whenever an opponent casts a spell with the chosen name, they lose three life and you draw a card. And a mystical archive card is Eliminate. So for one and a black, you get an instant. Destroy target creature or planeswalker with mana value three or less. And we got an inkling token. Inkling. All right, next one. So let's go through. Our first uncommon is Decisive Denial. So for green and a blue, an instant, choose one. Target creature you control fights, target creature you don't control. Or counter target non creature spell unless its controller pays three. Second uncommon is Snow Day. So for four and two blue, you get an instant tap up to two target creatures. Those creatures don't untap during the controller's next untap step. Draw two cards and discard a card. Our third uncommon is Devouring Tendrils, which we've already seen before. And our rare is Strict Proctor. So for one and a white, you get a creature Spirit Cleric. It's a one throw flying. Whenever an opponent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability to trigger, counter that ability unless its controller pays two. And our mystical archive card is Thrill of Possibilities. So for one and a red, you get an instant. As additional cost to cast a spell, discard a card, draw two cards. And we've got another pest. Next pack. <coughs> Our first uncommon is Eye Twitch, which is, I think, a great name. This is probably another one of my favourite names of a card in the set. One black yet a creature. It's an Eye Bat. With, it's a 1-1 one -one flying. When it dies, you learn. Second uncommon is Clever Luminancer. So for a single white, you get a creature, human wizard. It's an O-1, and it has Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, it gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. A third uncommon is Lawhold Apprentice. So for red and a white, you get a creature, human cleric. It's a 2-2 two -two with Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, until end of turn, spirit creatures you control gain tap. This creature deals one damage to each opponent. 
And our rare is Devastating Mastery. So for two and four white, you get a sorcery. You may pay two and two white rather than pay the spell's mana cost. If the two and two white cost was paid, your opponent chooses up to two non-land permanents they control and return them to their owner's hands. Um, or any destroy all non-land permanents. And our Mystical Archive card is Grape Shot. They literally printed storm in a standard set guys uh, so for one and ready get a sorcery it deals one damage to any target and it has storm uh, whenever you cast a spell copy it for each spell you cast before its turn you may choose new targets for the copy so literally they've reprinted storm in two different sets in two different forms that um white pump spell that gives uh, plus one plus one candles in vigilance has it and they've also printed grape shot congratulations wizards you found a way to get storm back into standard <laughs> Uh, all right, enough of that. Enough of the, some silly buggery. Oop, I just flung that across the room. Our first uncommon is Quintorius, Field Historian. So for three, a red and a white, get a legendary creature, elf and cleric. It's a 2-4. Three, three to control, get plus one, plus oh. Whenever one or more cards leave your graveyard, create a 3-2 red and white spirit creature token. We've got a Star from Scratch, which we've already read. We've also got Silver Quill Appendix. So for a white and a black, you had a creature of human warlock. It's a 2-2 two -two with Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or source, your spell target creature gets plus one, plus oh until end of turn. And we've got Exterius Uric Overlord. So for one white and two black, you get a legendary creature, human warlock. It's a 2 2 with double strike and also has Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, return target non legendary creature card from your graveyard to your hand. And on the flip side, it's Awaken the Blood Avatar. So for six, a black and a red, you get a sorcery. As an additional cost to cast a spell, you may sacrifice any number of, of creatures. The spell costs two less to cast for each creature sacrifice this way. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. You create a 3-6 black and red avatar creature token with haste. And whenever this creature attacks, it deals three damage to each opponent. That's a good one. That's actually been seeing a little bit of standard play. Now, Mystical Archive card is Agonizing Remorse. So for one and a black, you get a sorcery. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it or a card from a, a graveyard. Exile that card and you lose one life. Oh, we've got a foil, spiteful squad, or aka the Mean Girls. And this card we don't care about. <clears throat> All right, next up. Oh, our first one common, sorry, is Professor of Symbology. So for one and white, you get a creature called Cleric. It's a 2-1. When it enters the battlefield, you learn. So um, there is a series of cards in the set which are called Lessons. They'll be in your sideboard. You can main deck them if you really are desperate. Um, if it has learned, you go into that, side, that sideboard, pull out a lesson, and put it into your hand. Our second uncommon is Reconstruct History. So for two, a red and a white, you get a sorcery. Return up to one target artifact card. Return up to... One target enchantment card, and up to target one target instant card, up to one target sorcery, and up to one target planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. Exile reconstruct history. I believe this is most of the card types, if I'm remembering correctly, that make up the um, historic mechanic from Dominaria. I might be wrong though. And our third uncommon is a storm kiln artist. So for three and a red, you get a creature dwarf shaman. Is a two two. Uh, it gets plus one plus zero for each artifact you control, and it also has magecraft. So whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you create a treasure token. And our rare is culling ritual. So for two, a black and a green. It's a sorcery to do destroy each tug each non land permanent with mana value two or less. Add black or green for each permanent destroyed this way. And we have Mystical Archive card is Village Riot. So for a single black, you get an instant. As an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice this cre sacrifice a creature. Draw two cards. And we've got a foil. Ooh, we've got a foil right of excess here. Extras here. And we've got one of these. Alright, next pack. Yeah, I'm really liking the flavour of this set. Honestly, I think it's it's actually pretty fun. Like not to say I didn't like any of the other sets for their flavour, but this one sort of hit pretty nicely for me. Cause I mean, 
I am a Harry Potter fan. I loved it since I was a kid. I guess I know the author is problematic. But I still love the world that was built there. Oh, we've got a rare um, lesson here. So academic probation. So one in a white, you get a sorcery lesson. Uh, choose one. Uh, choose a known land card name. Opponent's card cast spells with the chosen name until your next turn. Choose target non land permanent until your next turn. It can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. Cool. That sorry caught me off guard a little bit. Got a hall monitor. So for one in a, one red, you get a creature lizard charm. It's a one one with haste. One in a red. Um, tap it to and have target creature can't block this turn. Our second first second or third uncommon is Ruther Mercurial Artist. So for one a blue and a red, you get a legendary creature orc shaman. It's a one four. For two mana return, Ruther to your donor's hand. Copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose two new targets for the copy. Our third uncommon, there we go, is mascot in inception. So for three and a red, you get a sorcery. The spell costs three less to cast over targets a creature token. Uh, gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature, gets plus two, plus zero, and gains haste until end of turn. And our actual rare for the pack is Necrobloom, Necroblossom style. See, that one's a lot easier. Um, this is the Black Rain land, dual land of the set, as I read from the, shat the Shrine Shadow. Oh, and we've got the Opta. This one's really pretty. So for one, a blue, you get an instant, scry one, draw a card, and a 3-2 spirit. A f sorry, a 4-4 four, four elemental. Jeez. I am really off my game today, guys. I am sorry. Uh, let's keep going, shall we? Yeah, that rare in the lesson slot really caught me. Uh, so our first one common is Master Symmetrist. So for two and two green, you get a creature of Rhino Druid. It's a 4-4 four, four with Reach. Whenever a creature you control with pa power equal to its toughness attacks, it gains Trample until end of turn. Second uncommon is De Deadly Brew. So black and a green for a sorcery. Each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. If you sacrificed a permanent this way, you may return another permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Our third uncommon is Detention Vortex. So for a single white, you get an enchantment aura. You enchant a non-land permanent. Um, enchanted permanent can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. Three mana to destroy the vortex. Only your opponents may activate this ability, and only as a sorcery. And our rare is Tempted by the Auric. So for one and triple blue, you get a sorcery. For each opponent, again, control of up to one target creature or planeswalker card that player controls with, with mana value three or less. And our archive card is Chaos Warp. So for two and a red, you get an instant. The owner of target permanent shuffles it into their library and then reveals the top card of their library. If it's a permanent, they put it onto the battlefield. And our foil is Emergent Sequence. So for one and a green, you search a library for a, for a basic land, put it into the battlefield, tap and then shuffle. That land becomes a zero zero green and blue fractal creature that's still a land. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it for each land you had entered the battlefield under your control this turn. And that one. Yeah, because the Quandrix have a bit of a ramp sub theme. They can just uh, dump a whole heap of lands. That's their thing. They, they just like to grow things. Like their um, fractal tokens can grow exponentially. You know, and it's really neat. It's a cool flavor, actually. Alright, our first uncommon is Umbral Duke. So for two and a black in an instant, choose one target creature, sacrifices a creature or planeswalker, or create a 2 1 black and white inkling creature token with flying. Second uncommon is Golden Ratio. So for one, a green and a blue, it's a sorcery. Draw a card for each different power among creatures you control. A third uncommon is Bookworm. So for seven and a green, you get a creature worm. It's a seven seven with trample. When there's a battlefield, you gain three life and draw a card. And for two and a green, put it um, from your graveyard into your library third from the top. And our rare is bot is actually mythic. It's Body of Research. So for triple green, triple blue, you get a sorcery. Create a zero zero green and blue fractal creature token. Put X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the number of cards in your library. And our um, archive card is Snakeskin Veil. So for a single green, get an instant. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. It gains hexproof until end of turn. 
And one of these cards, which will shove underneath there. Alright, next up. First one con is Grinning English, a nice little reprint back from Time Spiral Block. So for two and a red, a creature elemental to 2-2. Two, two. For a single red, return Grinning English to its owner's hand. Add two colours and a red. Activate it only as a sorcery. Second uncommon is Fortifying Draft. So for a single Grinning and instant, you gain two life. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the amount of life you've gained this turn. Our third uncommon is Return to Past Caller. So for three... A red, a Boros hybrid, and a white. You get a creature, Spirit Cleric. It's a 4-2 with flying. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, return target Spirit, instant, or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. And our rare is Double Major. So for a blue and a green, you get an instant copy target creature spell you control, except it isn't legendary if the spell is legendary. And our Mystical Archive card is Tendrils of Agony. So for 2 and 2 black, you get a sorcery. Target player loses 2 life, and you gain 2 life, and you have st and as Storm. I'm going to ask 3 2 Spirit. They reprinted Storm. N not directly into standard, but there's one card that kind of does have it, but they managed to reprint Storm into a quote unquote standard set, which makes. which kind of makes me laugh a little bit. Ah. Our first uncommon is Containment Breach. So for two and a green, you get a sorcery lesson. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. If its mana value was two or less, create a 1-1 one, one green and black pest creature token with when this creature dies, you gain one life. Second uncommon is Plum the Forbidden. So for a one and a black, you get an instant as an additional cost to cast this spell. You may sacrifice one or more creatures. When you do, you copy the spell for each creature sacrificed this way. You draw a card and lose a life. Our third uncommon is Quandrix Cultivator. So for one, a green, a, a Simic Hybrid, and a blue. I'm not calling it Quandrix. Uh, it's a Turtle Druid. It's a 3-4. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic forest or island card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. And our rare is Dramatic Finale. So for four hybrid ores of mana, you get an enchantment. Creature, creature tokens you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever one or more non-token creatures you control die, create a 2-1 white and black inkling creature token with flying. This ability triggers only once each turn. And our mystical archive card is, hey, time warp. So for three and two blue, you get a sorcery. Target player takes an extra turn after this one. Nice, and we've got a treasure token. All right, next one. Now we are cooking with, shall I say, the gas. Uh, oh, we've got another rare lesson here. So this is Teaching of the Archaics. It's two and a blue for a sorcery lesson. If an opponent has more cards in hand than you, draw two cards. Draw three cards instead if an opponent has at least four more cards in hand than you. Got our first one common is Mentor's Guidance. So for two and a blue, you get a sorcery. Whenever you, when you cast a spell, copy it. If you control a Planeswalker, Cleric, Druid, Shaman, Warlock, or Wizard, Swear I won and then draw a card. Got an overgrown arse, so for one and a green, you get a creature, plant wall, it has defender, tap it to gain a life, two and sacrifice the overgrown arch, and you learn. It's an 0-4. I've got a Diana Soul Steeper here, so for a black and a green, you get a legendary creature, Dryad Druid, it's a 1-3. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. For one and for one mana, sacrifice another creature. Diana the Soul Seeker gets plus X plus O until end of turn, where X is the sacrificed creature's power. And our rare is Elite Spellbind, so it's PVDDR. Some sort of invitational card. So for two and a white, you get a creature, human cleric, it's a 3 1 flying. When it enters the battlefield, look at target opponent's hand. You may exile a non land card from it. For as long as that card remains exiled, its owner may play it. Uh, a ca spell cast this way costs two more to cast. And our lesson 
I'm sorry, our uh, archive card is Thrill of Possibility. I got one of those. All right, next one. <clears throat> Our first uncommon is Quandrix Apprentice. So for a green and a blue, you get a creature human wizard. It's a 2 2 with Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a land card from among them and put that card into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Second uncommon is Containment Breach, which we've already read. Our third uncommon is Creative Outburst. So for three, two blue and two red in an instant, it deals five damage to any target. Look at the top five cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Or you can pay two Is It Hybrid to discard a... Discard the outburst and create a treasure token. And our rare is Pestilent Cauldron. Uh, so for two and a black, you tap to discard a card, create a, a green black pest creature token. One and tap each opponent mills cards equal to the amount of last life you gained this turn. And four and tap, exile four cards from a single graveyard, draw a card. Or it could be the restorative burst. So for three and two green, you get a sorcery. Return up to two creature, land, and or plans or cards from your graveyard to your hand. Each player gains four life. Exile the restorative burst. Our archive card is Infuriate. So for a single red, you get an instant. Uh, target creature gets plus three, plus two until end of turn. And we've got... Ooh! Ooh! A foil brainstorm! Oh, that's real pretty looking! So we've got a single blue, you get an instant, draw three cards and put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. That's real pretty. And a 4-4 and a four, four elemental. Yeah. Four brainstorm, guys. We kind of hit one of the good ones. All right, next one. So I heard the ops, at least the normal archive cards, are like 40, 50 bucks US, I think. But yeah, brainstorm would probably fetch around that similar price. Oh, that's real pretty looking. Oh boy. Next up. Ooh. Okay. Alright. First uncommon is Silver Quill Apprentice, which I believe we've read before, but just in case. One white and a black creature, human warlock. Two to his magecraft. Whenever you cast a copy and instant sorcery spell, target creature gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Umbral Duke is our second uncommon. Our third uncommon is Quintorius Field Historian. Our rare, or is actually a full art, Galazef Prismari. So for two and a rare, you get a legendary creature, Elder Dragon, it's a three, four with flying. When it enters the battlefield, you create a treasure token. Artifacts you control have tap, add one mana of any color, spend this mana to only cast an incident or sorcery spell. Real nice. And our archive card is Snakeskin Veil, which we've, I believe we've already read. And we've got a foil. We've got a foil rare for the box. Is Null Professor. For, so for two and two green, you get a creature of tree for a druid. When it enters the battlefield, learn. It's a five four with trample. And it's a five four with trample. Wow, that box was just a hit after hit after hit. Between. <laughs> it was just continuous hits right there. Jeez. Whew. All right, next up. I believe some people are trying to do combo decks with that is a dragon. I can't remember offhand, but I think I do remember seeing some crazy experimentation going on. All right, our first uncommon is divide by zero. So for two and a blue, it's an instant return target spell or permanent with mana value one or greater to its own owner's hand, and you can learn. A reflective golem, three mana artifact creature golem. It's a two three. Whenever you cast an insult or sorcery spell that targets only the reflective golem, you pay pay two. Um, if you do copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. Cool. Uh, third uncommon is Humiliate. So for a white and a black, you get a sorcery. Uh, target opponent reveals their hand. Choose a non-land card from it. That player discards a card. Put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature you control. 
and our rare is Silver Quill Command. So for two white and a black, you get a sorcery. Tag creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains flying until end of turn. Return target creature card with mana value two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Target player draws a card and loses one life, or target opponent sacrifices a creature. And our uh, Mystical Archive card is Duress. So for a single black, you get a sorcery target opponent, reveals their hand, you choose a non creature, non land card from it. That player discards that card. I'm going to Inkling. Okay. Alright, next up. Mm. All right, our first uncommon is Fortifying Draft. Uh, yeah, we believe I believe we read this, but just in case, one a green single green instant you gain two life. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the amount of life you've gained this turn. Second uncommon is Creative Urban, so I definitely remember reading this one. Our third uncommon is Secret Rendezvous, so for one and double white you get a sorcery, you and target opponent each draw three cards. Our rare is Exper Exponential Growth, so for double X and double green you get a sorcery, until end of turn double target creature's power X times. Our Mystical Archive card is Shark, so for a single red you get an instant, deals two damage to any target. And we get a Fractal Token. Alright, next. Alright, first uncommon is Tenured Incaster. So, so for four and a black, you get a creature vampire warlock. It's a 2 2. And as a battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Whenever a creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it attacks, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Second uncommon is Test of Talent. So for one and a blue, you get an instant counter, target the instant or sorcery spell. Search controller's graveyard, hand, and library for any number of cards with the same name as that spell and exile them. That player shuffles and then draws a card for each exile card card exiled from their hand this way. Third uncommon is Necrotic Fumes, so for one and two black it is sorcery lesson. As an additional cast of cost spell, exile a creature you control, exile target creature or planeswalker. And our red is Dream Strix, so for two and a blue you get a creature bird illusion with it's a three two with flying. When it um, becomes the target of a spell sacrifice it, when it dies you learn. And our archive card is Divine Gambit, so for two white you get a sorcery, exile target artifact creature or an enchantment opponent controls that player may put a permanent card from their hand onto the battlefield. And our foil? Oh, it's another foil rare. It's Leonin Light Scribe. So for one and a white, you get a creature cat cloak as a 2 2. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. And we've got a spirit token right here. Right, next up. So I really like the flavouring of these Mystical Archive cards and how they've explained their existence in the set is, as part of the world. Um, Strixhaven um, has a giant library, as you'd expect all colleges to have. Um, but it has every single spell that has ever existed in the world of magic. So we'll see. We'll talk about this a little bit more in a moment. So our first uncommon is Flunk. So for one, the black target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is seven minus the number of cards in that creature, creature's controller's hand. Second uncommon is Shadewing Laureate. I believe we've already read this. I'm pretty sure we've already read this one before. Our third uncommon is Secret Rendezvous. Uh, rare is Sparring Regimen, so for two and a white in an enchantment, when it enters the battlefield you learn. Whenever you attack, put a plus one plus one counter on, ta on target attacking creature and untap it. And our Mystical Archive card is D Spark, so this is actually a good one to sort of explain this about actually. Um, as I said, this library contains every single spell in the history of the world of magic. Take this D Spark for example. Day Spark, as we remember, was an event and a spell that happened, um, you know, back in War of the Spark, you know, where um, the God Eternals basically turn, uh, turned on Nicol Bolas, 
you know, and eventually sort of was part of kill- taking him down. Um, but yeah, all these spells that have ever existed in the world of magic, and this is why they, how they explain it, um, exist in this single library as a wet place to study. Yeah, so it's real, it's real interesting. So that's why you can get these sort of weird cards. So, sorry, d Spuck, I should have read this because I got a little bit distracted. Uh, white and a black for an instant exile target permanent with mana value for, for a greater. But yeah, that's how they sort of explained the existence of these mystical archives. These are all cards, these are all spells in basically a story in, in like, you know, books for study on the plane. You know, there's some real powerful stuff, which is probably highlighted by the mythics. And then there's some stuff that's a little bit more common. But, and then there are things that only happened on other planes, but they just don't, don't necessarily know about what happened, you know, back on Ravnica when the War of the Spark happened. Our first uncommon is Golden Ratio. Um, I believe we've read this one before. Second uncommon is reduced to memory. So one and two white, you get a sorcery lesson. Exile target non-land permanent is control creates a three, two red and white creature, spirit creature token. Our third uncommon is mortality spear. So for two, a black and a green, you get an instant. It costs two less to cast if you gain life this turn. Destroy target non-land permanent. And our rare is Kiame Dean of Substance. So for two and a green, you get a legendary creature, Elf Druid. It's a two, two. Uh, tap to exile the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it in your hand. Otherwise, put a study counter on it. For four and a green, create a... Zero, zero, green and blue fractal creature token. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it for each different mana value among non-land cards you own in exile with study counters on them. Or, it is Ibrahim, Dean of Theory. So for two and two blue, you get a cre- legendary creature, Bird Wizard, it's a three, three of flying. Fax and two blue, you exile the top X cards of your library and put a study counter on them. Then you ba- they put a card you own in exile with a study counter on it into your hand. And Mystical Archive card is Agonizing Remorse which we've, I believe we've already read before as well. But yeah, that's how they justified the, the existence of these mystical archives. They're basically spells that have been recorded in in the history of magic, basically. All right. Which I think is a really cool bit of flavor. Right, the first uncommon is Mercurial Transformation. So for one and a blue, you get a sorcery lesson. Until end of turn, target non-land permanent loses all abilities and becomes your choice of a blue frog creature with base power and toughness 1-1. One, one, or a blue po- uh, blue octopus with a base power and toughness 4-4. Four, four. Second uncommon is Ingenious Inspiration. So for two and a red, you get a sorcery. It deals three damage to any target and you learn. Third uncommon is Zero May Quandrix Prodigy. So for a green and a blue, you get a legendary creature, human wizards, a one, two. Uh, for one mana and tap, you may put a land from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. For four mana and tap, draw a card. If you control eight or more lands, you draw two cards instead. And our mystical archive card is Blade Hist- Sorry, our rare is Blade Historian. So for four Boros mana, the creature, human cleric, is a two, three. Attacking creatures you control have double strike. And our mystical archive card is Adventurous Impulse. So for a single green, you get a sorcery. Look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or land from among them and put it into your hand. The rest go on the bottom on of your library in any order. And we've got an elemental token. All right. Next up. All right. Oh, we've got another rare lesson here. It's confront the past. So um, for X and a black, you get a sorcery lesson. You choose one. Return target Planeswalker card with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Remove twice X loyalty counters from target Planeswalker and opponent controls. So this is actually a pretty key story moment. Um, Liliana, or Professor Onyx, as she prefers to be called. Actually, it's really Professor Onyx. It's not Liliana. Forget I ever said anything. Um has a bit of survivor's guilt because of the events that happened at War of the Spark. Basically, Gideon sacrificed his life for hers. Um, and she's trying to work out a way to bring him back, I guess. Our first uncommon is Mortality Spear. Second uncommon is Mage Hunter. Third uncommon is Reduced to Memory. 
And our rare is Quandrix Command. So for one, a blue and a green, you get an instant. Choose two. Return target creature or planeswalker to its owner's hand. Counter target artifact or enchantment spell. Put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. Or target player shuffles up to three target cards from their graveyard into their library. And our archive card is Crozen Grip. So for two and a green, it, it's an instant with split seconds. So it basically means um, it can't be responded to. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. And we've got a fractal token. But yeah, there's a lot of things going on in this set. Like you've got the whole Liliana story. And sort of her dealing with the events of War of the Spark. Um, what's the name? Uh, Kazmina basically encouraged Will and Rowan to attend the school. You know, to sort of become more powerful. Because she saw a spark of potential in them to be really powerful mages. And, Lu and um, Luke is here as well. Back from uh, 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 Coria for some reason. Which I haven't really read too much into personally. Alright, first uncommon is Flunk. Second uncommon, practical research. So, so for three and two and a, three are blue and a red, it's an instant. Draw four cards and discard two cards unless you discard an instant or sorcery. Uh, our third uncommon is Brackish Trudge, so for two and a black, it a creature, Fungus Beast, is a 4-2, it enters the battlefield tapped. One a black to return it from your graveyard to your hand, activate this only if you gained life this turn. And our ra rare is Radiant Scroll Wielder, so for two red and a white, you get a creature dwarf cleric. Instant and sorcery spells you control have lifelink. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile an instant or sorcery card at random from your graveyard, you may cast it this turn. If the spell cast this way, it would be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. And our Mystical Archive is Lightning Helix. So for red and a white, you get an instant. It deals three damage to any target and you gain three life. And our foil is first day of class. And we've got a spirit token. Huh, <coughs> pardon me. All right, next up. All right, let's go. Alright, first uncommon is Academic Dispute. So for a single red, you get an instant. Target creature blocks this turn if able. You may have it gain rage until end of turn, and you can learn. Second uncommon is Thunderous Orator. So for one and a white, you get a creature called Wizard. It's a 2 2 with vigilance. When it attacks, it gains flying until end of turn. If you control a creature with flying, the same is true for first strike, double strike, death touch, indestructible, lifelink, menace, and trample. Our third uncommon is Explosive Welcome. So for seven and a red, you get an instant. It deals five damage to any target and three damage to any other target. Add three red. And a rare, it's actually a mythic. It's Crackle with Power. So for triple X and two red, you get a sorcery. It deals five times X damage to each of... Um, five times X damage to each of up to X targets. Wow. And our Mystical Archive card is claim the firstborn. So for a single red, you get a sorcery, gain control of target creature with mana value three or three mana value three or less until end of turn. Untap that creature, it gains haste. I'm going to inkling. Oops, not that way. A practical research, symmetry sage, brackish trudge, and our rare is auric law mage. So for two and a black, you get a creature human warlock. It's a three three. Tap and search your library for a card. Put it into your graveyard. Then shuffle. If it's into a sorcery part card, put a plus one plus one counter on the law mage. Our archive card is strategic planning, and we've got a foil here. It's a foil maelstrom muse, which we've read before, and an inkling. Alright, our first uncommon is Show of Confidence. 
second uncommon is Prismari Apprentice. So for blue and a red, you get a 2-2 Human Shaman with Magecraft. Uh, when you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, it can't be blocked this turn. If that spell has mana value 5 or greater, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on the Apprentice. Our third uncommon is Go Blank. So for 2 and a black, you get a sorcery. Target player discards, dis discards 2 cards, then exile all cards from that player's graveyard. And we've got a Torrent Sculptor. So for 2 and 2 blue, you get a creature Merfolk Wizard. has Ward of 2. Uh, Ward basically says if it gets targeted by a spell or an ability, it, has, it can be has, can be candlelessly um, controller pays two extra. Whenever there's a battlefield, exile an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. Put a number of plus one plus one counters on Torrent Sculptor equal to half that card's mana value rounded up. Or it can be Flamethrower Sonata. So for one and a red, you get a sorcery. Discard a card, then draw a card. When you discard an instant or sorcery card this way, it deals damage equal to that card's mana value to target creature or planeswalker you don't control. And our archive card is Swords to Plow Shares, which is a nice one to hit. Single white mana for an instant, exile target creature, its control gains life equal to its power. And we got another one of those blank ones. Alright, next up. Alright. Oops. Our first uncommon is Snow Day. Second uncommon is Decisive Denial. Third uncommon is Karak Ringle. So for four and a green, you get a creature, Elf Druid. It's a 3-3 three, three with Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Our rare is, sorry, I miscounted. It was manifest Manifestation Sage. So for four... It, Four Simic Hybrid, you get a creature, Human Wizards, a 2-2. When it enters the battlefield, you create a 0-0 green and blue fractal creature token. Put a plus, put X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, where X is the number of cards in your hand. And our Archive card is Eliminate. So for 1 and a black, destroy target creature or planeswalker, mana value 3 or less. And we have a fractal token right here. First uncommon is Fracture, so for a white and a black in the instant, destroy target artifact, enchantment, or planeswalker. Second uncommon is Wormhole Serpent, so for four and a blue, you get a creature serpent. For three and a blue, target creature can't be blocked this turn, and it's a 3 5. Our third uncommon is Killian Ink Duel, so for white and a black, you get a legendary creature, Human Warlock. It's a 2 2 with Life Lincoln Menace, and spells you cast that target a creature cost two less to cast. And we've got our rare here in Wandering Archaic, so for five mana, you get a creature, Avatar. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery spell, they may pay 2. If they don't, uh, you may choose, uh, may copy that spell and you may choose new targets. And our archive card is Whirlwind Denial. So for 2 and a blue, get an instant for each spell and ability your opponent's control. Counter it unless its control pays 4. And we're going to foil in, ooh, Quandrix Campus. And we're going to treasure token. <laughs> Next up. Let's go. Alright, first uncommon is Grinning Ingus. Second uncommon, Prismari Apprentice. Third uncommon is Bookworm. Our rare is Callous Blood Mage. So for two and a black in a creature of Vampire Warlock, it's a 2 1. When it enters the battlefield, you create a 1 1 black and green pest creature token. Uh, token. You draw a card and lose a life, or you exile a target player's graveyard. And our archive card is Tezzeret's Gambit. So for 3 and a Phyrexian Blue, Phyrexian Blue can be paid with either blue mana or 2 life. Draw 2 cards and then Proliferate, which is great for those Quandrix players out there. And we've got a Fractal token. Proliferate was an old mechanic where um, you choose any number of target uh, counters and you can add or you can add an additional one of what, whatever's already there. 
So this is, huh, so Phyrexian Manor was another thing that was, so they didn't want to print in a quote-unquote stand set. I know it's, these cards are only legal in whatever format they're already legal in, but it's just interesting that that's how they find a way, they found a way to get around that. Alright, so first uncommon is Quandrix Apprentice. Second uncommon is Access Tunnel. Third uncommon is Return Pass Caller, and our rare is Semester's End. So for three and a white, you get an instant. Exile any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers you control. At the beginning of the next end set, return each of them to the battlefield under its owner's control. Each of them enters with an additional plus one plus one counter on it if it's a creature, and an additional loyalty counter if it's a planeswalker. And our uh, archive card is another Cultivate. And we've got a treasure token right there. Alright, next up. Actually, that's the last cut pack in the pack in the box, guys. I hope you've been enjoying it. I can't wait to draft more to set. I think there's just so much here that can be done with it. Anyways, let's go go into this last pack and we can finish up. Alright, first uncommon is Dueling Coach. So for three and a white, you get a creature, human, and monk. It's a 2-2. Two, two. When it enters the battlefield, you put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. And for four white and tap it, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Second uncommon is Aether Helix. So for three, a green and a blue, you return the target permanent to its owner's hand. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Our third uncommon is Emergence Sequence, which I believe we've already read. And our rare is Prismari Command. So for one, a blue and a red, you get an instant. Choose two. It deals two damage to any target. Target player draws two cards and then discards two cards. Target player creates a treasure token or destroy target artifact. And our last Mythical Archive card. Ooh, it's Abundant Harvest. Now, this is one I kind of want to talk about before we go too far and end this. So Abundant Harvest, single grain for a sorcery. Choose land or non-land. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a card um, of the chosen kind, put that card into your hand, the rest are on the bottom of your library in a random order. Now, you're probably thinking, Abundant Harvest. I've heard of the card Abundance before, but not Abundant Harvest. And I don't remember hearing about this card in any set. That's because Abundant Harvest is actually a, well, I guess a preview print, I guess, of a card that will be coming out in the next Modern Horizons set. So they decided to put it here as a little bit of a preview. Now, it won't be legal in Modern until Modern Horizons, but it's cool that they're doing it this way as a way to preview. Hey, this is something cool that we've got coming up in the next set. It's a neat way to do that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe. Um, it lets people know that we exist. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a comment. Tell me about you know what your favorite card is in this set. Be it a mythical archive card or any of the cards in this set. Be it for flavor reasons or because you think it's fun or powerful. Anyway, guys, you can um, follow me on Twitter. Links are down below. You can find us at the Planeswalker Pantheon. Uh, links are also down there below. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you later.